Okay, uh, hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 6 of our crash course JavaScript and uh, in this video, we're going to learn about uh, JavaScript functions, okay. So to be specific, uh, we're going to talk about these four topics, uh, uh, function declaration, expression, error function and the default parameters. So let's get started. So as like any languages, uh, JavaScript has functions and actually it's one of the important thing uh, in JavaScript. Um, so to, to create a function, basically you have a keyword function then the function name, say for example, uh, get full name and then it can take para uh, parameters uh, with the bra brackets like maybe first and last. Okay, then we have a uh, parenthesis like the curly brace and inside you can do calculation or you can return a variable, so whatever you want. So I'm just going to uh, return uh, basically the first and then the last. So I'm just using the template detail here, which we have learned in our previous video. So this particular thing is actually a function, okay? So to call a function, very simple, we, uh, yeah, we take the function name and we pass the parameters. So say for example, first name and then last name. So if you save, actually we are not getting anything because this function is getting called, but we are returning the value, but we are not actually capturing anything, right? So um, maybe, Let's capture the result in a variable and let's print it. So we should be able to see the result here. Why it's coming like that? Because here we put an additional, ah, okay. So it's, it's straightforward, nothing fancy, right? So you create a function using function keyword and function name and parenthesis so on, okay? Let's talk about function expression. So what is function expression is nothing but you can actually assign the function to a variable. What is that? Say for example, uh, const add is equals to function. Uh, see here, I'm not uh, specifying any function name actually. I'm just creating function uh, keyword and then I'm opening the uh, parenthesis, okay? So now I see, say for example, I take uh, two value and then I just return uh, uh, a plus b, okay? This is called function expression because uh, we are using the function and uh, assigning to a variable, okay? So now this also we can use, which means uh, I can basically do a console log of add, okay, like four comma nine. Yeah, if you save, we should be able to get the value. So this is what uh, you are learning here. In JavaScript, it is possible to assign a function to a variable. Then we can use that variable as a function, okay? So if you ho hover over the most right, it says const add is nothing but it's a function. Fine. Um, in most of the case, we will use like function expression, okay? Uh, <clears throat> it has its own advantage. We'll cover those things later to point of the video. Okay, then what is arrow function? So arrow function was introduced as part of uh, ES6 actually, so in 2015. So that's, that is to simplify the way how we are writing the function, okay? So when you say arrow, they are, what they're mentioning is actually an, uh, a symbol like this, okay? Which is a, a equals to mark and then greater than sign, okay? This is called an arrow, okay? So how we can create a function using this particular arrow? Very simple. So say for example, I'm going to take the same thing, okay. Uh, let me put this one as maybe double, okay. So I just want to take one input, then I want to double it, okay. So let's say a plus a or a into two, both are same, okay. Now, if you call this double, then oh, it's wrong, okay, but it still works. It takes the only first argument, okay. Okay, it will work, okay. So it should be into two. Yeah, we get eight. Okay, now I'm gonna convert this function into an arrow function. So to convert a function into arrow function, what we need to do, we need to remove this function keyword and then after the parameters, we should put the arrow. Okay, this is the syntax to convert a function into an arrow function. Okay, if you save, it still works. But uh, what is uh, uh, another thing in arrow function, right? If it is going to return a single value, then you don't need a return keyword. Uh, let me put this by this way, okay? So if it is going to return uh, a value, right? Actually, we don't need the return keyword and we also don't need the parenthesis, okay? If we save, it, it will still work because uh, if when you look a statement like this, right? What you need to understand as, as and when you see this in arrow, you should say, you should uh, remember that, okay, left hand side, what we have is the parameters and right hand side, what we have is actually the return statement. So, so it's actually making a function, okay? This is a syntax for error function. Um, uh, actually, if we have only one parameter, we don't even need this particular thing. But if you save, it will come because of my VS code extension, but that's okay. Just understand that uh, this is a syntax for error function, okay? So now uh, let's talk about uh, default parameters. But before that, right, um, 
if I create a function, I have already created a function here, right? Get full name, it takes two arguments. So what will happen if I don't give this particular second argument, okay? If I save this, so what we get is a ragul undefined. Why? Because in JavaScript, it is not necessarily to pass all the arguments, okay? So here we pass only one argument, so it get assigned to the first variable. It, then the last variable becomes undefined. So if you want to handle this case, right? So one thing, one option is like if there is no last name, you want to default to say for example blanks. Okay, that is a requirement. Then if you are a beginner, you will think like okay, if uh, last equals to equals to equals to undefined, okay, then I'm making the last two blanks. So if you save this, actually now you can see that undefined is not there because we are overriding the value of last in this particular statement. Okay, this is good, but we can make it better using a different syntax. So let me come on this. So now what? The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to reassign the value of last is equals to last, okay? But what will happen here, again the same undefined comes, it will go to undefined. But I can use the R op operator and then give a blank. So what it tells, right, it will evaluate whether this particular value, value is a truthy value or fal false value, okay? If it is true, then it will be assigned. If it is false, then the fallback will happen, It will the space will be assigned. So if you save this, now you see we, there is no undefined. If at all I give a proper last name, say for example test, okay, then that value will be overridden. So this test is going here and this test is coming here and we, during this statement this test value is not a falsy value so it's getting reassigned to here and coming here, okay. So as you can see it's a one-liner compared to this if statement but still we can optimize this uh, in a good way. So if we come out of this right, we can directly assign the default value in the argument itself like something like this, okay. So if you save this, again what we are telling right, okay, see this function takes two argument and I am giving the uh, one of the argument uh, a default value. So if you don't find uh, any value passed to this particular variable uh, argument, then just take this value, okay, that is the thing. Just now uh, I can see the uh, value is toggle test, but if I just uh, remove this, right, uh, save, then you can see uh, it's getting assigned to the space. So if at all I give like uh, any default value, then that will be assigned, okay. Okay, so that is with respect to default parameters. Then the one more thing, what if if you want to default to the first one, okay, I want to only pass the last second, uh, I mean the last second parameter, not the first parameter. So here, if you assign, call the function with the first parameter, it always goes to the match, right, first to first. So then you can think, maybe can I have a comma? Then it's a wrong syntax, okay. So then how do we tell the first value is not passed? Basically, you will give undefined, okay we will pass undefined as a value. So now what happens, uh, the Rahul is going the second uh, particular uh, argument. So this goes to the first argument, uh, but we get this. So if at all, um, I want to make this to the default, then yeah, so I can do the same thing. Uh, test first, yeah, whatever, okay, save. Then that particular thing will be replaced. So that's it I want to cover in this video. We just learned how to create a function, basically with the function keyword, function name, arguments, return value, simple. Function expression, you can create a function and assign to a variable and then we can use that variable to call that function. And error function, you can use this syntax to create an error function when you see this syntax or this symbol, right? So what is there on the left hand side is the arguments, right hand side is actually the fun uh, function body or the return statement, okay? And default statement, yeah, you can make default statement, uh, sorry, default arguments uh, using this particular syntax so that uh, your function may not fail in some cases or based on your requirement. So that's the end of this tutorial or this video. In our next video, we are going to see a very important thing uh, which is how do we debug the JavaScript code, okay, which is I think uh, it's one of the key skills to learn programming. So we'll see in the next video how to debug the code. Until then, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.